What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today I am taking y'all on the most epic, most ultimate pond hopping adventure y'all have ever witnessed. Today we got 10 ponds, we got 10 different lures and what my objective is is to catch a bass in every single one of these 10 ponds on a different lure. So we're gonna do 10 different lures, one in each pond and I got an hour and a half to do that because that's how much time I've left of daylight so that's my allotted time. But anyways I got my fly rod, I got my bait cast, I got my spinning gear, we got moving baits, we got top water, we got just jigging baits, and we got flies. I mean, it is going to be a crazy adventure. Our first pond is right here around the corner, so I'm all tied up. We're about to get started, so let's start fishing. Hour and a half starts now, and we're starting out with the chatter bait right here, and our first pond is a nice golf course pond. We got some neighborhood ponds as well we're gonna be fishing today, but hopefully I can complete this task in an hour and a half. All these ponds are pretty dang juicy. And oh, 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 that was literally the first cast. What did I tell you guys? These ponds are freaking juicy. I think it'll probably take us like five minutes tops over here. I have some good spots in all these ponds that usually produce pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna hit all my prime targets and hopefully I can get this challenge done relatively quick. Back in this pocket, there's gotta be there's gotta be a tank hanging out. Oh, there's bass. There we go. Fish on. And that was literally maybe forecast in this first pond, but we got a fish on the chatterbait. Look at that, guys. That took absolutely no time at all. And here is the first fish. Nothing too special. There's definitely some really big bass in all these ponds that we're about to fish today, but hopefully this one is the smallest, but I can't complain about a quick start because we are on a time limit. Let's get this guy back in and off to the next. Later. Chatterbait's knocked out. Time to hop in the cart and get moving. Screw! Six minutes into this challenge, rolling up on pond number two, but this is the only bank we have to fish off of, so let's hope we can find something quick. Lure number two, I'm just gonna be throwing this little Texas rigged Cinca right here. Just got a 1 8 ounce bullet weight on the tip to help get this thing down. I am a little wrapped up. All fixed. Let's see if we can get a guy right up under this tree. There we go, first cast, first cast, let's go. What did I tell you all, this is gonna be the most epic pond hopping adventure. And we got a nice chunk right here too for our second fish, easily a three pounder. Or maybe not, he's got a head of a three pounder, but he's probably pushing high twos. Here's a good look at fish number two, nice and long, a little skinny. She's got a big old head, as I said just a second ago. She could easily probably be, I mean, if she was really filled out, she could probably be four. Later. Peace. Oh, she's stuck in the grass. Let's get her out. Oh, there she is. She's got it. Later, beautiful. Stick that back on there. Off to the next pond. Rolling up on pond number three. Got the Whopper Flopper mini tied on, and we're gonna do a little top water fishing right here. Let's go find them. I'm a little concerned throwing this whopper plopper or just top water in general for this challenge because it is kind of cold the last few, it's been kind of cold the last few days and I've had a little bit of trouble getting them on top water down here recently. So we're gonna see how difficult this actually is going to be for me. If there's gonna be some lures that keep me from finishing this challenge today, it's gonna be the top water. I think I can definitely get it done though. We're making great time so far. I just need something to hurry up and chomp this thing. Been taking my time over here with it. Can't waste too much time with it or I'm gonna have to switch to a different lure if I'm not having any luck. No luck with the Whopper Plopper in this pond. So I'm gonna go ahead and move ponds and I'm gonna have to come back to the Whopper Plopper. We might come back to this pond with a different lure if I uh, still struggling to catch a fish, but just can't waste time. It's been about 10 minutes, gotta keep it moving. Made it to the next pond. Oh, oh, that's not good. There we go. Gotta slow down a little bit. Made it to the next pond, but I don't have time to slow down because we're on the timer. Get a nice little jaw going, but we're going with the rattle trap in here, and I think we can make it happen pretty quick. Here goes nothing. Here. 
there's one. And there we go. Oh, oh, there was definitely one on there. I just, I guess I pulled it into this. Dang, if that was not a fish, that that's crazy because that felt just like a fish. I'm convinced there was a fish and it just got pulled into the brush after he like sideswiped it or something like that. There's one. We're on. We are on. That's the third lure. This one's taken quite a while to get. We've been popping around that last pond and we're finally on the board for number three. Easy, buddy. I don't want any trebles in my fingers. That would not help us complete this challenge any faster. There you go, fish number three. Let's let her go. Oh, 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 oh God, oh God. She's going, she's going. <laughs> Later. That was, uh, that was something. <laughs> there we go. On to the next pond. Gotta get my jaw going. Made it to the next pond, got the fly rod out now, little shad streamer, this thing should do the trick. And this is probably, <laughs> this might be the hardest thing to catch a fish on today besides top water. I'm hoping I can get this thing pretty quick because this is a pretty juicy pond and there's a lot of active hungry bass in here that should smack this thing pretty quick. But we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Oh yes, first cast, first cast, no way, on the fly rod, oh, okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta work him slowly, I forget that I got the fly rod in my hand, I can snap this thing off super easy, let's just work him right on in here to the bank, yeah, let's go, buddy, let's go. No giant, but I cannot ask to knock out the fly rod faster than that, just one cast is all it took, great little bass, on to the next spawn. Whew, made it out here to the next pond. Got the whopper plopper back tight on, giving it a shot out here. This is super shallow, and it's probably the best place that I'm gonna have a chance at catching something on the whopper plopper or top water in general. So I'm gonna give it a shot here. Let's see what kind of damage it can do. I'm really in need of another one caster right here. I burnt way too much time messing around with the whopper plopper in that last pond and I was tossing it in. Come on, something please just wake on this thing. Give me a nice, thick, large mouth. Come on. Oh yes, first cast, first cast. Oh, that's three pawns with a first cast fish. Let's go, let's go. Get up here. This bass is literally as black as can be. It's so dark, it's been hanging out up under some deep, or not deep stuff, just some shady stuff to get dark like that. Take a look at that topwater LMB, super, super dark. Let's get her back in, because I am on a time crunch. Gonna let her fly. Later. Just made it to the next pond. I tied on another topwater bait. I got a, a little popper right here. I can't remember what brand it is, but it's a good little popper. Should do the trick right out here. It's not super deep over here, so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of luck. Here goes nothing. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to work. I just had this one little pocket I can get in here, so I'm hoping there's a bass hanging out in this little cove. <laughs> oh my god, my GoPro literally died the second before I hooked up with this little fish on the popper right here. Let me go ahead and put this camera down so I can get this fish in and go ahead and move on to the next lure. Thank goodness he's hooked good. Oh, he's stuck in the tree now. Oh, there we go. I got him. <laughs> I'm very quickly running out of time, so I gotta get this girl back in the water onto the next pond. Later. And we've made it to the next pond. We're going with the crankbait. Uh, more specifically, square bill. Just a nice little yellow, black top. And this thing should hopefully get cranked pretty quickly. I was having a lot of luck fishing this pond and I'm hoping that this thing is just gonna get smacked right away. Could use a one caster right about now. We do not have much time left. Just doing a little fan casting. 
to hopefully find a fish pretty quick. I only had this one little spot I can get in here just by foot, so I'm hoping I can pick up a fish in this small little opening. There's fish! There we go! Let's go! It's just a tiny one. I think I had him foul hook too, but let's go! Oh, please calm down. I am not even gonna deal with that until you until you calm down. Foul hooked and easily the smallest one of the day, but we got him. Adios. Rolling up. Pond number eight. Bait number eight. I got a fluke tied on and I really need to hurry up with this challenge. I think I have like 15 minutes left. So I need a fish to bite pretty dang quick up under this dock. There we go. Oh, no. No, I needed that so bad. That was like my third cast. Mm, let me tell you, GoPros do not like the dark. I ended up catching two more fish, one fish shy, completing the challenge in my allotted time, but the footage just was way too dark for y'all to even see anything, so I didn't want to use it. So it's actually a new day, and I wanted to complete the challenge for y'all, so I'm coming back out, doing three more lures, three more ponds, to complete the challenge. I'm with the spinner bait right now. We're about to hop right into this juicy little bass hole and see what's munching. Let's see what's going on. Sling this sucker right on out there. I'll tell you what, this pond is super dirty right now. It's usually probably one of the clearest ponds down here, and that's very odd considering the fact that all the other ponds right now are really, really clear when they're pretty murky. So I'm not quite sure what's going on in here. Hopefully it doesn't affect the fishing too bad, but hopefully I can pick one up pretty quickly in here. This one tends to be a pretty active pond. It's gonna be this dirty. I'm glad I have a spinner bait tied on right now because that will give it a, just a little bit of extra flash to hopefully get munched. Nope, oh, there we go. That didn't take long at all. Right here next to the bank. Good little fishy. And that is why y'all always put a trailer hook on a spinner bait because that guy would have not been caught if it wasn't for that trailer. Little, little dude. Let this feisty dude go. Bye, buddy. Rolling up to the next pond. It's time to put the jerk bait to the test. No doubt this thing is about to get slapped. Maybe get that twig out of the way. Oh, oh, first cast. Oh, he hit it right on the edge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, we can definitely get another one. So I ended up switching ponds because I only had that one little small spot right there, but I'm at this new pond and it's crystal clear and there's probably four or five bass sitting right here in front of me. I don't know how well y'all can see them on the GoPro, but they don't seem to be super interested in my jerk bait. Hopefully one of them hits it. Oh, one's looking right at it. There we go, got him. Oh, that was epic. He hit it right there in front of me. Good bass, he couldn't stand it, man. That twitch, oh, it's a good one too. Come on up here, buddy. Oh, look at that. That is a great fish right there. Look at that slaunch, man. This dude absolutely smoked that jerk bait right there in front of me about two feet off the bank. That was so cool to watch. Hopefully the GoPro picked that up as well as I could see it. Man, that was awesome. Here she goes. Swims right along. So for the final lure, I was actually gonna use this Lego lure that I'd made a while ago, but I decided not to use it because I'm actually going to give it away to one of y'all and I didn't want to lose it. And the reason I'm doing that is because Kicking Their Bass TV and I have just recently made a Lego fishing lure challenge. We made a Lego shark swim bait and a Lego crankbait that actually works, guys. And we just released it on his channel. So I want y'all to go ahead and check that out. But to win this lure, make sure you're subscribed and like the video and just leave a comment down below and I'm gonna be picking one of y'all at randomly, shoot you an email, we'll get your contact info and send it your way. So for the last clip, I'm actually gonna show y'all the first fish I've caught on this, so enjoy. I, I 
think I might change the name of this bait to the Poppin' Polly. I mean, it's it's popping good. Much better than his walking. Oh, there we go! Oh, Poppin' Polly! That is how it's done! Woo! Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, drop a like for me and subscribe. But as always, Bass and his passion, peace out.